Hello, welcome to my channel, Bring Your Light Intuitive. I'm Cindy and I'm so grateful that you are here. Today I wanna to do a twin flame reading for you. So if you feel like you are in a twin flame dynamic, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, but let's first see if the person that you are thinking of is your twin flame. We're going to look at their characteristics, maybe their zodiac sign, and let's see what resonates for you. And then we'll take a look at what's happening in your connection and when you might be coming back together if you're in separation. As always, I have shuffled my cards, but I would like to shuffle on camera so that you can feel more connected to your cards. So Spirit, thank you for your uh, messages today. Thank you for bringing the right people across this video that are in Twin Flame Dynamics. Let's see what their person looks like, what their characteristics are, what's their personality, anything that you can tell us that will help the person watching this video right now to know if this person is their twin flame or not. Let's see, what does your twin flame look like? I have chills right now, just so you know. So I think that this is gonna be a pretty powerful reading. So let's first see, what does your person look like? The person that you are thinking of right now. Put them in your mind and take a deep breath. <sighs> thank you angels, thank you guides, thank you for what whatever you believe in for bringing all the right messages that you need to know about your twin flame. Their zodiac, their looks, and anything else you can tell us. So moving forward, if you get your confirmation that this is your person that we're talking about, then you can watch the rest of the video to see what's going on in your connection. And if it's not, or if you don't feel that it resonates for you, go ahead and watch something else. We'll do more of these. I want to see how it goes. Thank you, Spirit, for any messages that you whoa, can tell us about this person. And we're all different. There's a lot of us that are watching this video right now. So we are all different. So you take which cards resonate for you. And I pause because I got the twin flame card. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but that jumped out. So yeah, this is a twin flame union. The person that you are thinking of right now is your twin flame, okay? Or your soulmate. And the rest of these cards may or may not reflect that, but this was the first card that came out. You're feeling them on a soul level. You're feeling them in your heart. You are connected to this person, okay? This is... Whew, Gemini energy. They may or may not be a Gemini. They may be a different race than you. They may be a different color, come from a different background, come from a different country. There may be some kind of cultural difference between the two of you. So if the person that you are thinking of right now, first of all, the lover's card says yes, yes. You're thinking of your twin flame. Secondly, if they have any of those characteristics, Yes, this is your twin flame. I'm going to leave this right here in front of me so I can see this card. Wow. So we have the five of cups. This person could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So if you know the person that you're thinking of, if they are a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, they may be your twin flame. They could have gone through a period, either one of both of you have gone through a period of disappointments in the past, lots of love, uh, complications, challenges in relationships, things like that. They may be somebody who's down if you know them um, and you know that they're somebody who's focused on disappointments or kind of down in the dumps. This could be them. They could be somebody with dark hair, long dark hair. You have the Knight of Wands. This is fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. If you know somebody who fits that description, they might, if that's who you're thinking of right now, that's your twin flame. They could be somebody who's charismatic, who is fun, who's adventurous, who likes to travel and go on adventures, who, who's always, like a Sagittarius is a lot like that, who is always ready for adventure. So if you know somebody, usually this person, Knight is a very good looking, um, very confident, 
energy. So if the person that you're thinking of, if they are good looking, confident, adventurous, exciting, creative, they could be on in the public eye. That might be your twin flame. Next we have the Ten of Wands, which is also fire energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. We got a lot of fire energy here. This person may be overworked, overburdened. Maybe this person works all the time. So if the person that you're thinking of right now is if they're a fire energy, that could be a yes. And if they are somebody who you know who works all the time, who you feel like has no time for you right now, or you know that they are just like totally 100% focused on their work and maybe overworking, overstressing, overthinking, overburdened. That may be your twin flame. And if you're thinking of somebody who is very independent, this is Virgo energy. So if, if the person that you're thinking of is Virgo, or if they are somebody who's very, very independent, who's very closed off, who you may be in separation from this person, they may be taking time to themselves, they may be very spiritual, they may be learning how to be very spiritual, they may be up-leveling in a spiritual practice of some kind, or maybe they're a therapist or a counselor, some kind of healer, or learning how to be. If the person on your mind right now is something that fits that description, the answer is yes for you for that too. Okay, so now that we have that confirmation, you have the Ace of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is an air energy. Le I don't know why I said Leo. If your person that you're thinking of is Leo, that is uh, probably for you. <laughs> this here is an air energy though. Um, Gemini, uh, wow. <laughs> Thank you, Mercury Retrograde for messing up my communication. Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. I don't know what the heck is going on right now. Clarity is coming for you and your twin flame. Clarity, a new beginning. And this could be if you are in the person that you're thinking of right now. Okay, I want to make that clear. The person that you're thinking of right now, if they are an air sign, that's a yes. If they aren't, it's okay. But if you're in separation from this person right now, you are going to start a new uh, you're going to hear from them. You're going to have clarity about how they've been feeling and what they've been thinking. This is a new beginning that is a gift from the universe, a new beginning in communication, okay? And a brand new start. So if the person that you're thinking of, you've been in separation, haven't talked to them for a while, expect to be hearing from them soon. And you also have the eight. The Ace of Wands, too, at the bottom of the deck. This is Fire Energy, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. But this is also a new beginning, okay? So if you're thinking of the, per if the person on your mind, maybe a Fire Energy, and you haven't talked to them for a while, or it's been maybe in a stagnation, or I feel like for most of us in a Twin Flame union, it's they've been in separation. So if your person is a Fire Energy, Here's a yes, a big yes. This is a big brand new start for you as well. Very passionate and very exciting. So let's take a look. Spirit, thank you for showing us the dynamics of this union right now. What, can, what are they uh, experiencing in this union right now with their twin flame? What can you show us? What is the energy of this connection? Ooh, okay. Oh, all right. Are you ready for this? If you're in separation, it's because you have had to let go of attachments to old energy. This could be old patterns of thinking. This could be old um, hurts from the past. This could be old uh, relationships that were no longer working for you because they're not your person, right? You or your person could be have gone through this energy of having to free yourself from something of the past that has kept you in separation from each other. Um, it's time to release what's not working. If you are in a karmic situation, get out of it. If it's not working, if it's not making you happy, um, it's time to walk away, okay? Or you have recently done this. Now, you have reconciliation here. 
you have reconciliation here. Before this reading is over, I'm going to see if we can get some uh, timing for this, okay? But like I said earlier, <laughs> most of us in these twin flame dynamics are in a separation period right now. We're, we're going through healing. Um, each you or your person has been going through some healing of old past stuff and letting go of karmic attachments, karmic behaviors, karmic relationships, and things that just don't work anymore because you have to be two whole people to come together in the twin flame union to be to make it work. And spirit is taking each of you through a period of healing to bring you back to this reconciliation with your true love and it be beautiful. Like, look at the clouds. You're going to be floating in the clouds. It says, someone from your past is returning to your life. So you can expect reconciliation with this twin flame that you have on your mind right now. And you have chemistry. Most of us, I think, when we are in a twin flame union and it is in separation, it started with some kind of unexpected um, meeting right and there was chemistry and passion right off the start because this person is your person you feel it instantly you know instantly and it's very very passionate and there's a lot of chemistry and it started off with um, a bang and it was very exciting and then it might have just ended or they backed off from you or you stopped talking or life happened and you're left like what happened well, if you're feeling that and you have been through that, this is confirmation that you are in a twin flame dynamic and you will be experiencing reconciliation very soon. And it says there's strong magnetic attraction here. What I love about this card is that this person that you're thinking of, they are always being magnetically drawn to you. So you're going, you don't have to worry you don't have to worry that they're going to forget you. You don't have to worry that this is never going to happen. The divine has got it. It's all divine timing. It's all part of this healing process and this journey that you're on. But they are always magnetically drawn to you. Even if you don't communicate with them, you're going to pop up in their mind just like they're on your mind right now. Okay? Something is going to be in their day that is going to remind them of you. A song. Um, they may see your picture, they may see your name. The divine is dropping hints and clues to keep them thinking of you. So let's see what other messages for my twin flames. You can tell them right now. What is their dynamic looking like? What's going on with their person? What messages do you have for them? Okay, the unsaid. The unsaid tells me that you are in separation. Um, maybe you're not in t uh, communication. Showing, showing I love you or like you without physically saying it. Or they didn't say it yet. So the unsaid tells me that you haven't been in communication with them. Um, and they have not told you how they actually feel about you. So you might be over here wondering if they're even thinking about you, if they thought the same thing you did, if they felt the connection, because they never told you. They did tell you, I mean, they did feel the connection. They do think of you, and they will be back. Try me says, not in the mood. The answer is no, they're pissed off. <laughs> Uh, they're fed up and things need to change. So they're in a place, either you or them are in a place of just really being over it with your current situation. This is also a healing card. So, you know, the divine is taking them or you through, both of you, through a healing process. You may be in a karmic situation right now that is just not working. You know, there's a reason for that because you're not supposed to be with that person. So if there is somebody in their your twin flames life they're at this place where they're over it and things are about to change okay because they're not with the right person so they're feeling all of the you know when you're not with the right person 
you're you're not receiving what you need and what you want. So they're at that place where they just are not receiving what they need and what they want. And they're learning that this person is not for them. So they're they're over it and they're ready to move forward. So at the bottom of the deck, we have it's a plan, which this is a calendar. And that tells me that the plan is for you two to reconcile because we have this reconciliation card. There is a plan for reconciliation. And the card says getting asked out, text message, a call with intent to date, tentative plans, making or solidifying a plan. Do you know what that tells me? That tells me you're going to hear from this person. You've been in separation. You've been not hearing from them. There's no communication. Well, guess what? Communication is coming. It could be in the form of a text, a phone call, or an actual date. Um, they're going to reach out to you. And so let's see. They're going to reach out to you and they're going to make plans with you. So let's see if we can get some timing on that. So Spirit, thank you for timing for this plan. What can we know about timing? Can you tell us timing? And I want you to mark your calendars for the timing that comes out for this plan, okay? For this reconciliation, this you're gonna hear from them soon. Wow, this is exciting stuff. All right, we got the Queen of Swords. Let's ask for more. Timing, right now they're, they're working on their boundaries or you might be working on your boundaries because you are learning that you should not receive, you should not accept anything less than what you deserve. And they may be learning the same thing. So there may be some boundaries up right now or learning those boundaries, which is all great because it's leading to you, okay? Because this person is going to be what you want and you don't want anyone else coming in messing that up. All right, we got the Nine of Cups. So this is ultimate wish fulfillment. This is you getting all of your wishes in this union right here. You are getting reconciliation and when you do, it's going to be like bliss. It's going to be checking all your boxes. This twin flame has been groomed to be exactly what you need and what you want and they have made the same list that you fit every one of their boxes. So let's see what the timing is for our Queen of Swords and our Nine of Cups. This is this is the energy of if you asked your genie, you gave them three wishes of what you want your person to be like, this is you receiving that wish, those three wishes. So let's look at our timing and I want you to um, mark your calendars. All right, so the Queen of Swords, Oh. The Queen of Swords is the 22nd of September to the 23rd of October, okay? So mark your calendars for, and this is an air sign energy. If it happens to be an air sign that's on your mind right now, mark your calendars for, ooh, is that Libra season? The 22nd of September to the 23rd of October. That's coming up, you guys like right now, and I want you to mark your calendars and I want you to let me know in the comments when this happens for you. So in the next, between now and the end of October, you should be hearing from your person by text message, by a call, by maybe starting communication again. You have the Ace of Swords and you have this plan. This person is going to reach out to you and you'll start talking again and they are going to want to get together with you. So just be prepared that it may start with a text message. It may start with a phone call. Don't expect it to be everything all at once. Expect to hear from them and expect it to build from there and expect it to be between now and the end of October. And the Nine of Cups timing is the 9th to the 22nd of March. So 
For some of you, you're still going through a journey. For some of you, your person may be still going through a journey. And you're coming to wish fulfillment, okay? And it could take a little bit more time. So for some of you, it could, I want you all to mark your calendars for September and October and um, the, for the month of March next year. Because there may be some kind of shift that you may start talking in September or October. And then there may be another shift in uh, March of next year that said that maybe that's when you guys really come together. Maybe it's going to progress over that time frame. And maybe that's when you two really come together. You move in together or whatever, you know? So mark your calendars and definitely keep me posted and let me know what you think of this reading and if you want me to do more like it in the future. I really enjoy doing these readings for you. I am so happy that you're here. I really appreciate all your likes and subscribes. If there's anybody that you think needs to hear this, please share it with them. And um, I'm trying to grow this channel, so leave comments and, and let me know if you like these kind of readings and we'll do more in the future. If you want a private reading with me, my information is below. You can just email me. And uh, I love you guys. Have a great week.